Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, I'm gonna do a community reading for the month of August for, for all of us. And I'm going to be using the Akashic Tarot, the Crystal Angels, and the Fairy Tarot. So this should be fun. To save time, I've already laid them out. <clears throat> I've pulled the seven card spread and all three cards are seven times. Okay, I've already done this once before. <laughs> this is not this is not the first time I've recorded this. <laughs> Somehow I didn't have the speaker. To my camera, I had my other speaker that was all garbled. Oh, and it was a beautiful reading. But I just kept the cards out and we're just going to record it again. So uh, these are such beautiful cards. Uh, in the first pile, <clears throat> this is the near past. And in the near past for the Akasha Tarot, we've got the Eight of Roses. And it's it's community. And I always think of um, Mother Mary, not in a religious way, but the divine feminine energy when I see roses and community, because that's compassion, love, and gathering. And that's a beautiful card. And then for the Crystal Angels, or I'm sorry, the tar fairy tarot is next. Um, four of summer. And the four of summer is being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity, taking someone or something for granted, discontent uh, with life. So there's some, even though you've got this, there's some of that that was in the near past. But this is... The Crystal Angel Tarot, or Oracle rather, clear quartz. Let yourself feel all your emotions, your entire rainbow spectrum of feeling is sending you important messages and guidance. So it's healing energy to heal that. So this was in the near past, and it looks like healing's already taking place or has already taken place. And the next position is the present and what we have for the akashic the chess game so there looks like there's you know people are feeling like they need to position themselves well under all these circumstances um there's strategy involved <laughs> um also we have the fairy tarot with the six of winter Look at that beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful card. Um, positive changes are on their way. Welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or relocating. So it sounds like we're well on our way to healing from the recent past. Also, this gorgeous um, diamond uh, crystal angel. Value your worth. You are God's precious gem. So again, it's a call to remember who you are and your divine healing that you're receiving. And the near future looks this way. This is the Akashic Tarot, Queen of Scrolls. That is your wisdom, information, downloads coming in. Um, really wonderful card, powerful card. So a queen. Nice. And for the fairy tarot, you have the eight of spring. Look at those beautiful dandelions. Stress that comes from having many things happen at once. Successful multitasking. Sudden events or changes. And for the crystal angel, we've got titanium rainbow quartz multifaceted. Gorgeous card. Look at that. 
Um, there are many layers and dimensions to this situation that you're asking about what well, it looks like the universe out there. Look at that. I think that's multidimensional. So it looks to me like, oops, you've got all the power to handle everything. You've got all the information in, at hand. Um, things are getting better. You can see with the fairy tarot and I think you're multidimensional and can handle any of this that are, that's coming your way. And this position of cards is you. <clears throat> and you have in the Akashic Tarot this amazing queen of forces. And look at that. She's got the power of the moon, the sun, water, earth it just looks like every element and that's kind of like the divine feminine feminine and masculine and she's wearing the light and the dark and gold is wisdom so it's all speaks to me of divine feminine and divine masculine all the powers of the elements so that's pretty powerful and then the fairy tarot is the six of spring Look at that powerful horse she's riding on. Look at that. Uh, horses are power. Wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. That is great. Beautiful. Um, and the next card is really gorgeous. Spiritual protection. Look at that. Beautiful. Hard. Charo, 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 Charoite. <laughs> I guess you don't even know if I'm pronouncing it. Charoite. I don't think I have any of that. Uh, you are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So these are beautiful, powerful cards. Strength, action, forces. Oh my goodness. So that's the second queen in this reading. That's pretty powerful. So that this is you. That looks pretty favorable. Okay, so the next is the outside influences. So we've got the three of roses. So to me, again, roses to me are divine feminine, the, the Marys, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary. But you have the elementals there, the beautiful energy of the fairies who are out in nature. They're in the water, in the bushes, the trees, the grass, and they're there to heal you and protect you, as you can tell, your, your inner child. So then next is the princess of winter. Princess of winter. And she is inquisitive, truthful, realistic, and un undiplomatic. So it says information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness. So maybe that's for us to speak with kindness or we're going to hear something. <laughs> I don't know which. Um, oh, this is beautiful. Rubalite. This says passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives way gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that is dear to your heart. Oh, that was a gorgeous card. So it looks like you have this healing energy of the elementals and being out in nature. Uh, you have some kind of truth to hear um, or, you know, and discern. And you have, you end up with using beautiful passion to move forward, passion and purpose. That is gorgeous for outside influence. And next is the challenges that you might face, but they actually look pretty good. Um, another queen, the third one, the queen of keys. She's standing up there at the top of the castle. She's looking pretty good right there. Pretty strong and powerful. 
and the keys. Sounds like she has everything she needs. And then you have the strength card. Look at that powerful strength card. It says, the grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power and kindness and forgiveness, time to embrace how wonderful you are. It's good stuff. And then this is gorgeous because emeralds are all about healing. Look at that beautiful angelic energy. And it says, ceremonies and celebrations. It's time of, of important life passages as, a, as weddings, birthdays, graduations, and anniversaries come forward. That looks like a lot of green healing and pink love energy. Gorgeous. Okay. Those aren't too challenging. <clears throat> so next and final is your outcome or what you should do. And I really like this one. The Akashic is the Ark of the Covenant. That's a lot of power. And it's divine power. Next is the Prince of Autumn. And the Prince of Autumn is dependable, protective, chivalrous, humorous, cautious, but wise action, meticulous attention to detail, and kindness to others. That's gorgeous. Along with this, I love this, amber. Look at that beautiful amber. Give it to God. Take a deep breath and on the exhale, release the situation for God to God for healing and answers. So you have a lot of divine energy behind you, protecting you and guiding you. It's all here. It's all in this reading. It's for the all of you light workers out there, <laughs> which is the whole community. So that's pretty impressive and exciting. I really love those cards. I feel a lot of energy in those. But always take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. But um, I also wanted to let you know that on Saturday, I have um, Heather of Indigo Chrysalis Tarot. She is amazing, and I'm so happy to have her on. We're going to talk about spiritual topics of interest. Um, I know it's going to be a great show, so I hope you stop by and watch. Um, that show is Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific time at 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, and it's going to be a live. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope we do well. <laughs> anyway, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.